Hi guys, so welcome back to TechFrapped. Audio Open Beta 2 update for OnePlus 5T was released two weeks back with a couple of new features like categorized app drawer with labels and quick search, a clipboard functionality with which you can copy text from any app, search, translate and share, and OnePlus Switch app. Yesterday, we got the third audio open beta for OnePlus 5T, the second this month and OnePlus added couple of features, fixed couple of things and also removed the clipboard app which was just introduced in the last open beta amidst allegations that OnePlus is sending data via clipboard app to the Chinese servers. The open beta 2 was an ok update, I haven't noticed any app crashes, it was stable but the battery life wasn't great compared to open beta 1 and also the pictures from the camera app. The open beta 3 update is of size 162 MB, if you are on open beta 2 you can get it directly over the air and also you can install the OTA update from open beta 2 manually. I have added the download links for full open beta 3 ROM and also the OTA from open beta 2 to open beta 3 in the description below. To install, simply transfer the zip file to your internal storage, go to the settings, system updates, click on gear icon on the top right corner, local upgrade and pick the ROM file. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create a song. I don't want to miss a beat. So we have successfully downloaded the OTA update and the installation procedure takes about 2-5 to five minutes. The system boot is done and let's quickly go to the settings about phone and check the bell number. As you can see this is the open beta 3 with December 1st security patch. Coming to the new features of open beta 3, now we have an option to enable swipe up to answer calls from the settings of the phone app. Basically by default the swipe up gesture will reject the call but if you are convenient with swipe up to answer then you can change it. And next is a support for full screen gestures. In order to enable these gestures, go to settings, buttons from customizations and enable hide the navigation bar. And now as you can see, we can swipe up from bottom center edge of the screen to go to the home page, swipe up from bottom of the screen and pause for recent apps, swipe up from left or right side of the bottom edge of the screen to go back and uh, let's check if these gestures are working perfectly. Swipe up from bottom for home screen. Swipe up and pause for recent apps and swipe up from left or right side of the bottom edge to go back and everything is working fine. There's also a new feature added specifically for Indian users that can automatically sort the text messages into different categories based on the message type. As you can see this is separate category called the updates which has all the text from banks and shopping websites. And next is the removal of clipboard functionality. Now if we try to copy any text from let's say messages app, nothing happens and you can also see that the clipboard option is completely missing from advanced settings of the system menu. And some of the CPU and bug fixes included. Coming to the benchmarks, it got a score of 2,16,193 with Antutu 2 version 7, 60.2 frames per second with Nina Mark 2 and single core score of 1982 multi-core score of 6733 with Geekbench. So that is it, hit the like button and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching, bye bye and take care.